welcome children come we will see the word problems ok in average the first chapter take textbook take page number 93 word problems see first we will see one example first one monthly test were held in the months of july august and september Mihir scored 95 marks, 65 marks and 68 marks respectively in 3 tests. Mitali scored 75 marks, 85 marks and 80 marks respectively in, three, in the 3 tests. Whose overall performance was better? Whose overall performance was better? So, in order to compare their overall performances, we should calculate their average marks. Okay, we need average marks. Okay, okay. See here, monthly test, you know no monthly test, monthly, monthly it will happen, ok. So, in July, August, September, ok. So, for example, if you take monthly test where held in the months of July, August and September. See, Mihir and Mithali are there in the class, ok. Mihir and Mithali, they have scored, see 95 marks, 65 marks, 68 marks, Mihir scored. In July, August, September respectively means in July 95 marks, August 65 marks, September 68 marks like that ok. So, Mihi scored this much marks in the 3 tests ok and Mithali scored 75 marks, 85 marks, 80 marks respectively in the 3 tests ok. So, how can we compare who score, whose performance was better that means who did well the test Mihi or Mithali? How to compare it for that we need to find the average because here you see here three marks are there ok three months marks are there ok three months marks are there but we can't able to compare in some subject Mihi scores ok highest mark in some subject some that means in some month Mihi scored highest marks in some months Mithali scored highest mark see compare here 95 in July Mihi scored highest mark. In August, Mithali scored highest mark. In September, Mithali scored highest mark. How can we tell? See here 95. No. So, how can we tell? How can we compare whose what? Whose performance was good? Was better? That for that we should find the average. Okay. Come we will find the average. So, find the average. See the average of his mark marks. So, add all the marks and divide ok find the average you know now how to find the average. So, after finding the average what is the average 76. The average of Mithali's marks that means you should add all the marks what Mithali scored in 3 months and you should what divide it by the what number ok 3 months marks no so 3. So, what is the average 80 now you, you can compare easily ok. Ok, because you know the averages of Mihir and Mithali's marks. So, since the average of Mihir's marks is 76 and average of Mithali's marks is 80, it is obvious that Mithali's overall performance was better than that of Mihir's overall performance. That means what? Whose performance was better? Mithali's performance was better because what is the score? What is the average? 80, 80, ok. Understood? So, this is about the word problems, ok. So, we can find what this is about the word problems in average, ok. Come, we will see some word problems in the assignment, ok. Take page number 95 children, ok. Page number 95, ok. See, the average of 3 numbers is 12, ok. 3 numbers, average of 3, three number. Here, no need to find the average, ok. They have find, what? It is already there. They have given the average of 3 numbers is 12. 2 of the numbers are 15 and 11, ok. 2 of the numbers are 15 and 11. So, what we should do? We should find the what? Third number. So, we should find the third number, ok. See, come we will see how to find the third number. See here, we know the average of three number is, ok. Average of three numbers 
is equal to 12. Okay, what for the average? 12. Okay. So, what are all the? So, we know we should what average is nothing but sum of the numbers. What average is equal to sum of the numbers, sum of the numbers by what? Total numbers that we know no total numbers that is what is the average here 12, 12 is equal to what are all the numbers given 15 plus 11 and what one more number we do not know let it keep it as x by find the third what, what is the total number 3 numbers ok. So, what we need we need what x this one we want. So, to find the x what we should do see here take this 12 into this is in division no if it come in this side means it will become in multiplication is equal to. So, you take this side and now 15 plus 11 plus x ok. So, 3 2s are 6 3 1s are 3 36 is equal to 15 plus 11 how much 26 plus x. So, we want x no. So, take this 36 minus 26 is equal to x. So, 36 minus 26 is equal to what 10 ok 10. So, what is the x? What is the third number? 10. So, find the third number. The third number is third number is 10 ok. What is the third number children? 10. See how nice no very interesting no. Yes. So, see here instead of finding average they have given the average and they did not give one number. So, that we keep it as x and if we simplify this thing we will get the value of x. So, what is x? The third number is 10. Very interesting no. So, the sums will be like this ok try to find that ok. Come we will see the next word problem ok fourth one. A handicraft exhibition was held on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. 140 students visited the exhibition on Monday, 200 on Tuesday and 500 on Wednesday ok. On an average how many students visited the exhibition per day ok. So, to the handicraft exhibition the students ok visited the exhibition Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday like respect ok. On Monday 140 students visited, on Tuesday 200 students and Wednesday 500 students. So, we need to find the average how many students overall visited the exhibition in your school. So, how to find that? Come we will do that. See number of this I will write number this is number of ok stud students on Monday ok students number of students visited on Monday ok number of students visited visited ok visited on Monday on Monday how much 140 on Tuesday how much 200 on Wednesday how much 500 ok. So, what is the average? Average ok is equal to you should add all the numbers 140 plus 200 plus 500 divided by number of days 3 ok. Number of days 3 that is we should add it. What is the sum? 840 divided by 3 ok. If you divide it you will get 280. So, what is the average? Ok. So, what is the average? On an average see on an average 280 students ok visited what visited the exhibition per day ok visited the exhibition per day ok. Understood children this is the answer. So, what you should do you should find the average clear. So, in this way you can find the average of the given numbers.
Okay, children, do the remaining word problems. It's very easy. Understand the concept and write in words. Since it is a word problem, we don't want the answers. Okay, we should write step by step. We need the steps. Okay, so without that, we can, we won't give you marks. Okay, so since it is a word problem, okay. And it depends on the marks also. If it is two mark question, no need to write more steps. Okay, if it is five mark question, you should write it in what? You should write the steps, all the steps, and then you should write the formula like that. You should give then only you can get more marks. Okay, understood, children. In this way, you should write in your exam. Okay. Okay. Children.